everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the rake stitch, which you can see here in front of you. The rake stitch is a fun stitch to work. It's made up of a variety of rows of spike stitches. I've worked it here in two colors. You're welcome to use as many or as few as you'd like. It is the same on both sides. And because of the spike stitches, it's fairly dense. Today for this tutorial, I'm going to be using two colors of the paint box yarn and cotton at Rand. I'll be using a slate green as well as a dusty lilac. The purple lilac color will be my uh, color A and the green will be my color B. I'm also using a five millimeter crochet hook and you'll find links to both of these items in the description of this video. Also in the description of the video, you will find a direct link to the free crochet pattern on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here and uh, take a look around. This channel is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. If you have used this stitch in a pattern before or will uh, in the near future, uh, feel free to let me know what uh, you would use it for in the comments. Now our stitch today is worked in rows. So you'll begin by making your slip knot and then by working a foundation chain and your foundation chain needs to be a multiple of 10 uh, plus eight stitches. So today I'm going to work a total of 28 chains. There's 10. Twenty, and 28. Once you have worked your foundation chain, you're going to begin by working a single crochet into the second chain from your hook and then into each stitch all the way across. At the end of this row, you are going to switch to your color B and I will show you how to do that. It's done in the final stitch uh, when I come across. So single crochet into each stitch all the way across to that final stitch. I'm here at the end of my row one and as mentioned, at the end of row one, you're going to switch to your color B. So to change to your color B, you're going to insert your hook into that final stitch using your color A, yarn over and draw up a loop. You're then going to drop your color A, pick up your color B and place it on your hook and then draw that yarn through. You're then able to continue on using your color B. Now, uh, depending on your project, and as you're going to see here, I'm not going to fasten off the color A, I'm just going to leave it hanging down here uh, from my work, and uh, then I'm going to pick it up later on. So now you're all set to work row two with color B. You're going to chain one and turn your work. And for row two, you're going to simply single crochet into that first stitch and then into each stitch all the way across. At the end of row two, you can chain one and turn your work. At the end of row two, you're going to chain one and turn your work. For row three, you're simply going to single crochet into that first stitch and single crochet into each stitch all the way across. At the end of your row three, you're going to change back to your color A. Now I'm back here at the end of my row three. I'm going to change back to my color A, which is conveniently still attached down here at the bottom. So I insert my hook, yarn over, 
drop a loop, let go of that color B, pick up the color A and put it on my hook, yarn over and pull through. You're now set to go with your color A and uh, we're going to begin row four by chaining one and turning our work. Our color B I've just left attached here and I'll pick it up when I come back to it later on. Now for row four, we're going to begin uh, working some of those spike stitches that, be what, uh, that we saw before. So what we're going to do is we're going to single crochet into the first stitch. We're now working in our color A. And next, over the next five stitches, we're going to work spike stitches. To work our spike stitch, we're going to insert our hook in the stitch two rows below, so just below it. So in this case, it's always going to be uh, just below our color B rows. So for this next stitch, I'm going to bring my hook in front of my work, insert it just under the next stitch, two rows below, yarn over, drop a loop and draw that stitch up to the height of your single crochet. It's important that you draw it up to the height of the single crochet if it's too loose it uh, won't lay flat against the fabric and if it's too tight it will cause your fabric to bunch. So you want to bring it up to the height of the single crochet, yarn over and pull through. You're going to do that five times. So into the next stitch, two rows below, yarn over, pull it up to the height of the single crochet, yarn over and pull through. There's two, three, four, and five. If you're finding they're looking a little twisted there, you can kind of straighten it out once you finish. Once you've worked your five spiked stitches, you're going to work a single crochet in the top of each of the next five stitches. you're now going to repeat that. So work one spike stitch over each of the next five stitches, working two rows below. There's one, two, three, four, and five followed by five single crochet stitches into the top of each of the next, uh, so one single crochet, sorry, into each of the next five stitches. There's three, four, and five. So repeat that all the way across, and you're going to end with uh, just a single crochet into the top of your final stitch. just like so. At the end of your row four, you can chain one and then turn your work. We're now going to, for row five, single crochet into that first stitch and then single crochet in each stitch all the way across. When you come to the end of your row five, you're going to switch to your color B, chain one, and turn your work. I'm now here at the end of my row five. I have my color B on my hook, so I'm ready to begin row six. For row six, I'm going to chain one and turn my work. It's now time to work another row of spike stitches. This time what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin by working a single crochet into that first stitch. 
and then one single crochet into each of the next five stitches. Next, work one spike stitch over each of the next five stitches, working two rows below. So here at this time, I'm going to work at the end of, uh, uh, underneath uh, that first row that was worked in my color A there. So I'm just inserting my hook over the next stitch, uh, two rows below, drawing the loop up to the height of the single crochet, yarning over and pulling through. Continue to do that five times. And now I'm going to repeat. Work one single crochet into each of the next five stitches. followed by one spike stitch over each of the next five stitches, worked two rows below. You're going to continue that all the way across to your final six stitches, and you're going to work one single crochet into each of those final six stitches. You can then chain one and turn your work. And that's it. For the rest of the pattern, you are simply going to repeat rows three through to six for as long as you would like, fasten off and weave in your ends. So your next row, single crochet in each stitch with your color B all the way across, switch to that color A, and uh, then begin working a row of spike stitches in your color A and then continue on from there. So that's it for uh, this stitch tutorial on the rake stitch. Thank you so much for joining me. And uh, if you liked it, I invite you to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.